Hi guys, my name is Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I finally found 10 minutes out of this entire month to film a video for you guys. And I'm super excited because I got to go to an estate sale last week and I have one of my favorite hauls that I've had in a really long time. Lots of really good vintage little trinkets and things for me to upcycle in a future video, which I'm excited about those especially. So let me hop right into my estate sale haul. I'm gonna start off with my biggest items and then go down to my smallest. And I'm gonna save, of course, my favorite thing for last. Okay, so like I said, starting off with my largest pieces. So the most expensive thing I bought today was this $60 oak table. Now I feel like this could be used either as like a two person dining table, or it probably was originally more like a desk or a library table, but I absolutely love the character of this table. I really considered keeping it because I normally have um, a little farmhouse table in the space where our Christmas tree is right now. It gives me just a little bit of workspace out in our living area. Um, but I think it just doesn't look quite right with the wood piece that it's next to. And that one is a non-negotiable for keeping. So I'm probably going to end up selling this one probably back closer to its original price of $120. Now next up, I found this little rattan stool. Since I was at the estate sale on the 50% off day, I only paid $12.50 for this stool, which is a crazy good deal. It's in wonderful condition. The wood looks so nice still. And all the rattan details are in pristine condition. I couldn't believe how beautiful this was. This estate sale was in the home of a gentleman who lived there till he was 93 and he had lived there for 75 years. He was definitely a collector of antiques and just really interesting and beautiful pieces of furniture. So it was so fun to go through all three levels of his house and kind of look at everything that he had collected over the years. Um, and as you can see, I have um, another stool down here and that was actually from the basement. So the white one is from the basement. The table was from the main living space and then the little stool on the right, the rattan bench, that one was actually in the upstairs. But I am probably a little different than most estate sale shoppers and I love the basements and the garages the most. My favorite kind of stuff to find at an estate sale are things that most people would overlook because they're either just dirty or busted and I love just giving them a new life. And I think for this little white shelf, I'm gonna do some kind of IOD stencil on the top um, or a stamp. And I only paid $7.50 for this. I love that it's already white. So that's gonna be a nice, easy project for me. And I think when I'm done, I'll probably be able to sell it closer to $30 or $35. Now, one of my next largest pieces is this little pull-out shelf or cutting board, probably from a Hoosier cabinet or a hutch. I paid $4.50 for this and I am in love. I was actually just thinking the other day that I would love to find a giant cutting board to do another project with because it's just been ages since I've done anything like that and they're one of my favorite things to do. So I was super excited when I found this down in the basement. Um, and I already have the IOD transfer in mind that I think I'm gonna use on this and I might even show you that at the end and have it all laid out so you can see what I'm gonna do with it. And then kind of in that same vein, I also found a table leaf. I have made so many signs out of table leaves over the years. And they're one of my favorite things to work with. I always have a ton of character, especially when they're nice and old. I'll probably oil this one up and then make some kind of like welcome sign or something out of it. Um, but I, I used to do this kind of stuff all the time. It's been ages. So just like with the cutting board, I'm really excited to tackle this one as a new project. And one of my last larger pieces is this nice big oil painting. I love the mountain scene of this and the snow. I'm really a sucker for any kind of like evergreen forest painting with mountains in the background. And I love that this one was actually an original painting. So I grabbed this one for only $5, if you can believe it. The frame is worth far more than that alone. So I am super excited for this find. I'm not sure I'll sell it. I'll probably just put it down in our homeschool area. Okay, before I jump into all of my estate sale smalls, I have to show you guys this scale that I got recently at a vintage market. It is green and it's spectacular. I did almost consider trying to get some of the rust off because I love green and white together especially. I thought I would maybe try to bring that back through, but it might be a little bit beyond the point anyway. But I love it. How beautiful is it? It's so cute. I paid 30 for it, which is about as much as I want to pay for a scale, $30, $35, if I'm going to keep it. But I love that one. I just had to share that one with you guys first. And then I was able to grab these two Crocs. This one I paid $4 for. It's a little beat up. There's no markers on it or anything, but it does have kind of a big chip on that side, which I don't mind at all. I would just turn it this direction. 
Um, and then this one has 18 on it, but I, I mean, it was 50% off that day. So I know I paid nine, but I might've paid a little bit less. I might've asked for a deal on that one. Um, but they're so cute. Is there anything better than a croc? I don't think so. Look at them. They're so precious. Um, so I was super happy to find those. And this thing is so cool. Look at this tin. It says American Lady Brand Coffee. Yes, it's super crunched up. But look at that character. I'll give you guys a closer up view in a little bit. So I paid 14 for this because if it was 50% off. I probably wouldn't have paid much more than that just because it is so beat up. But wow, I love the character of this. It would look so cute on a shelf. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to sell this right away. I'll probably just put it on my shelves in my kitchen for a while and then maybe sell it when the time comes. And then I paid $12.50 for this ironstone pitcher. This is probably one of the largest pitchers I've purchased that are actually ironstone. You can find the little seal on the bottom here that says ironstone. And it's in really amazing condition. I can't find anything wrong with it besides like a few maybe scuffs and scrapes on the bottom. Um, this one's gonna be really hard to let go. I feel like everything I bought at this estate sale was just some of my favorite stuff. So I'm gonna have a really hard time partying with most of it. And then this is also ironstone, I wanna say, but someone has painted it at some point in time, um, just a white. And so this will be a project piece for me. I won't have any um, holdbacks on um, adding like a decal or something to make this look a little bit more interesting. But honestly, the paint is flaking off inside. I wonder how hard it would be to just get all this paint off. So this one's kind of a mystery. Not sure what I'll do with it, but it was only $4, so I paid two. I couldn't pass that up. And then this I bought, and I highly doubt I will sell it. It is just the most darling shape for a measuring cup I've ever seen. It's a four cup measuring cup. I love that it's like nice and tall. I don't know, I just think it's so cute. I just feel like it's my favorite measuring cup that I've ever seen. And I could just picture it sitting on my shelves. Now it says on the tag that it's truly vintage and I absolutely believe that, but there's no marker on the bottom. I don't know if it's like Pyrex or something, um, but I paid $10 for this. And oh man, I love this one so much. We're getting close to the end. I only have a couple more things, but you guys are gonna love this one, I'm sure. Let me scoot you back a bit so you can see it fully. So this is a coffee grinder. I don't own one in my house that has the wood box in the bottom. So I'm really tempted to keep it. I'm sure it's a burr grinder, which actually my husband wants. I don't know if he would wanna use this one though, but I have friends who have one just like this and they still use it. So I only paid $12.50, can you believe that? It's not necessarily my favorite in terms of coloring. Um, I've seen ones that I like more, but this one's amazing. And for $12.50, I mean, you cannot find this high quality of a coffee grinder in the store right now for $12.50. Um, it still has like a wood handle all nice and intact. So what an amazing find. Love this one. Um, and there are a couple other coffee grinders. I know my mom got another coffee grinder similar to this at the same sale, but I haven't seen it yet. So kind of curious to see what's different about that one. Um, but I'm really glad that I snagged this one. Now I forgot to include in my haul of bigger items that I also grabbed this handmade box. Nothing super special, but I really needed something to carry all the things off that I bought and it was only $5. And I thought it would make a nice project for a transfer or a stamp at some point along the way. So um, this isn't gonna be an immediate project for me or anything, but it definitely has potential to be something cuter that I could sell at my booth later on. And now for my favorite find of the day, I know you guys are gonna love this one also. Check out this amazing antique scale. It has all of its parts. You see the big bin on the bottom here. It is so beautiful. I love all of its character. The dial is so cool. It's got like a really nice blue stripe here, which I think is so pretty. Definitely a true antique here. And I only paid $30 for this. Can you guys believe it? They also included the little hanger that it goes on on the wall. Obviously this one's not original, but it definitely does the trick. Now my real question is, do I sell this? I don't know. I don't know where I would put it in my house, to be honest. And I can't keep everything, but my goodness, this is one of my favorite hauls ever because everything is so cool. What do you guys think? What's your favorite thing? 
And also, what do I do with this? It's so beautiful. Honestly, I would be willing to ship for the right price because I know how hard it is to find one of these in such good condition. And if you were just like looking for one and looking for one and really love this, I would definitely be able to be convinced to ship it to you. But it's pretty special and I'm gonna have a really hard time saying bye to this one. Now before I let you go, I'm gonna show you the IOD transfer that I think I would use on this piece. It comes from this Cotswolds transfer sheet set. And these are like big images. So you actually would use four sheets to make one really large one. And there's a couple different ones in this booklet. But the one that I think I would use is the pig one. And so let me tear those sheets out and just lay it on there to give you an idea of what it would look like in the end. Okay, 
so that's not at all straight or centered in any way. But I cannot believe how perfect this size of the board is for this image. It's going to look so cool. And so obviously, if you don't know, what I'll do is I will peel off the white backing so that all that's going to be left is the black ink. And it's just a matter of lining it up on there. And then you just have to rub the image really hard onto the piece of wood. And then when you peel it away, you'll just be left with all of the black text in picture. And I think it's going to look so nice and vintagey on this old beat up cutting board. So I'm really excited for this one. Make sure you subscribe because I'll probably try to do that one this week and just make it like a shorter video than I normally do because I normally like to do a lot of projects in one video, but those take me forever to get out. So maybe I'll start trying to do just some shorter DIY videos with you. And this might be the first one this coming week. And also don't forget, I should mention that if you need to order IOD, which is Iron Orchid Designs. Um, my retailer is through my shop owner. Um, her name is Cindy and the shop's name is My Treasure House and she will ship anywhere in the United States. So if you need somewhere to buy this exact transfer, you can go onto her Facebook page or her website, which will have all that link down below. And then you can order this directly from her. And her shipping is super quick and affordable. And I know that you'll be able to get your hands on this same one just in the matter of a week or two. Um, it might be a little bit different with Christmas coming up, but she's happy to ship to you guys. So I just want to let you know that if you need somebody to shop with, her information will be down in my description box. I hope you guys believe me when I said that this is one of my favorite estate sale hauls that I've had in possibly years. This is just some of my favorite things to find at estate sales. And I'm really curious to hear what your favorite piece was of today's haul. So make sure you let me know down in the comments below. I really appreciate you spending some time with me today. I hope you have a really great Christmas this weekend and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.